Hello everybody, welcome to Art in Motion and today I'm going to show you the power of using artboards with smart objects. Now you might be saying why would I want to do this? Well let's say you've got a whole bunch of social media assets of different sizes and shapes for different platforms but somebody wants a change on one of them even though they all have the same copy. They want to change the spelling of something or they want to change the copy entirely and you have to change it across multiple assets all at once. Using artboards with smart objects allows you to change one of them and it will change all of them. Let me show you how. So here you can see we have a post for Instagram, Twitter, Stories and a HD 1920 by 1080 which will be used for let's say a web banner. Let's say they want to change the copy because it's revealing a deep dark secret that everybody already knew and didn't want to say anything because they're being polite. All you got to do is double click on the smart object and change the copy. So for now, let's just insert a layer and put it underneath and just fill it with a color um, so we can see what's going on. We'll then change the texture because we can't have this. Uh, Art in Motion is the best channel ever for uh, tutorials. Please subscribe. And then we're just gonna go back here, delete this layer over here and save it. When we go back to our file, you can see that it's changed on all of the assets all at once. And that goes for every single one of these that I've made into a smart object. So for example, we've got this beautiful background layer. We are just going to change the color of this background. Make it, let's say, red. No, that's awful. Let's make it black save go back to our original file and there you have it it changed on all the assets so let me show you how this is done so here we have our file with all the bells and whistles so what we're going to want to do firstly is just convert everything that we want to be a separate element into a smart object so um this bottom piece here with our icons we are going to want to make those two into a smart object uh, so you right click go up to convert to smart object then we'll change the background as well into a smart object we'll take the did you know title change it into a smart object as well as our copy and change that into a smart object. So you can select more than one of these things together and make them into one layer, which is quite useful. I personally think so. Um, and our background will also convert to smart object. Now that we've got all that done, we are going to create our artboard. Uh, so to create the artboard, all you got to do is go up to layers, new, artboard. And in the settings here, you can see the width and the height. That should already match what you've got. Um, if it doesn't, you can change it. You can rename it right here as Insta oh, Instagram. If the dimensions are still wrong for whatever reason, sometimes it happens. But yeah, you just select the name of your artboard or select it in the layer outline. And go up to the very top and change it to whatever you want. Now, in order to duplicate this, what you're going to want to do is hold down Alt, I think it's Command on a Mac, and just click and drag it over. You can hold down Shift to keep it in line. And we will make a few copies. Right. This one, we are going to go into our layer list and just rename it to Twitter. Uh, this one, we will rename as... Oops. Uh, HD 1080 and 
this one we will rename as story. So Twitter, that's quite an easy one. If I remember correctly, it is 1200 by 600. Uh, at least that's what's preferred. You'll see when you resize it and something is out of the artboard, it will separate. And all that you got to do is select it, go to the very top of your list. It should be there and just move it onto the artboard again. And that should kind of fix it. Um, you'll notice strange things like that. You'll get used to it. Don't worry. You'll survive. Uh, you can then just place all your different elements of your design, resize it so it all matches. Uh, where is our shape? Okay, uh, next one. 1080 by 1920. Oops. Um, 1920 by 1080. Gosh, it's going on. There we go. We'll then drag this over. And we will center this piece center this piece and center this piece and maybe the image as well center this one we will then rename the team to 20 uh this one we will just resize it that way It's fairly simple, nothing that complicated. And this little bit of work will save you a lot of time when it comes to any kind of changes you have uh, for the rest of your project. Trust me, um, it might seem like a lot of setup or whatever, but it's really not. Especially when you've got hundreds of these things and you're trying to change everything. So we're just going to save that. Now, as you can see, we've got all these things lined up and ready to go. Now, if I want to edit one of these, it should edit all of them. So, for example, let's go to our copy because everybody loves copy. Double click on it, it'll open it up. Same drill, just double click, edit it. Um, you know nothing. And you just save it and there we go. Did you know you know nothing? Well, now you know. Uh, let me know if you found this useful. Uh, if not, or if you run into any trouble or have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below or join my Discord. I'll try my best to help you where I can. Um, and please subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel like supporting me. But subscribing is all I really ask. Thanks for watching and stay creative. Catch you next time. Cheers.